Congresswoman, thank you, and we're going to get back to that issue in a, in a moment. But first, Speaker Gingrich, as you well know, there's a debate going on in Congress right now about whether or not to make all employers, all businesses use E-Verify, a government database, to check whether or not new hires are legal. Now, some Tea Partiers object to that idea because they say it would turn small businessmen into immigration agents. But Kristen Williamson of the Federation for American Immigration Reform sent this question. Please look at it. Kristen Williamson, the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Struggling U.S. workers continue to compete with millions of illegal aliens. Do you support legislation to require all employers to use E-Verify in order to ensure that the people that they hire are actually legally authorized to work in the U.S.? And will you impose penalties against employers who continue to hire illegal workers? The question, uh, Mr. Speaker, is should employers be required to use E-Verify? Well, let me say, first of all, I think that the, we'd be far better off to outsource E-Verify to American Express, MasterCard, or Visa, because they actually know how to run a program like that without massive fraud. Uh, <laughs> second, the program should be as easy as swiping your credit card when you buy gasoline. And so I would ask of employers, what is it you would object to in helping the United States of America in dealing with a problem involving illegal immigration? But in addition, I want to reinforce what uh, Congressman Bachman said. I strongly favor 100 percent control of the border, and I strongly favor English as the official language of government. And I favor modernizing the legal visa system to make it far more convenient, far easier, and far more practical here in Orlando, where we have a huge interest in people being able to visit easily for tourism. We have a terribly antiquated legal system, while our border is too open for people who are illegal. 